Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how I got my texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock or Java Edition. So what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Minecraft add-ons and just search it. And then you should find it saying minecraft.net. If it doesn't say net and it says something like this, don't go to that. Go to the one that says minecraft.net. Click on that. All right, so now you're gonna want to scroll down and you should get this screen popping up with the zombie and scroll down until you find um, this. So it should say, uh, Minecraft's unmodified files are a good place to start if you plan on making your own add-on. Download these zip file or download these zips of the resource packs and behavior packs and get creative. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on resource packs right here and it should start to download just like this. And I'm actually going to, actually, yeah. You're gonna just wanna let that download right away and I'll get right back with you guys. You can also hit open when done. And uh, yeah, so that'll just open in a sec. And yeah, be right back. Okay, so this is now done and it says opening when complete and it should just pop up. There we go. Okay, so now once you have your uh, vanilla resource pack opened up, it should just say, uh, and under this PC downloads in this uh, pack name right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is sort of take this pack and you're gonna want to sort of go back to downloads and it should already have this highlighted. Take this and you're gonna want to extract it. So hit extract all and just hit extract and just let that load and I'll be right back okay so once you have that extracted you're gonna want to go to paint.net and then download and you can close that minecraft tab now but uh, click on download and now what you're gonna want to do is it should have a download button somewhere down here yes right here and so I clicked this to get it on Windows 10 and just download that and that is how you're gonna edit your textures but then I already have that downloaded right here and I have my original Minecraft file right here so you're gonna want to make sure that once it's extracted you're gonna want to put it on your desktop just for the time being and uh, yeah so let's open this up and so now you can see that in here it has a big list of stuff and so we're gonna go to manifest and what I already did is I renamed this Vanilla Variations Iron Oak Resource Pack and Iron Oak, Iron Oak Resource Pack. Keep this the exact same as this, and then make this your name, and don't edit anything else. And then once you have that, you're going to want to go to Textures, and you can click on Blocks or Paintings or pretty much anything else you want in here, just don't change too much like this is the biomes and things like I don't really know how to edit those so if I were you I wouldn't do that either but if you want to change your paintings you can easily head into here and then open this up and it should open up in that paint.net and as you can see you have your well I don't want this background thing in here but uh, you can open this up edit all these paintings and these four right here you have this brown one white one orange and blue. Don't edit those, but everything else you can edit. So I already did that for my textures. And after this is done, I will go and show you what mine all looks like. But anyways, you can just exit out of that and it will easily allow you to save. And I'll edit something on camera too, so don't worry about that. But let's head over to blocks. And it gives you a huge list of like every block in the game. So we are going to go to dirt easily just type in dirt and let's go to just plain normal dirt and we can put uh, so you have all these cool options here if you it this just took me a few days to get used to everything like the gradients and everything but um, yeah you can just easily select stuff do whatever you want um, yeah so basically just edit everything how you want it but I am actually going to go and make a dishwasher for you guys just to sort of show you how I make my stuff. So let's go to terracotta. So 
And now let's just click on any one you want because these can all be rotated and I love these blocks for making things that are able to be rotated. So hop into here and what I do is just highlight that all and just make, well, you can make it any color you want. Just fill that in and you got a nice solid color to work with. So now I am going to choose my colors and I'm going to choose gray. Let's head over to gradient and now you can basically just choose whatever you want, any patterns you want. This you don't have to do, you could just fill it, have a solid color, but I do it this way so let's actually remove that. But I have mine like this where if you want something to look round you click in the middle and pull across and then I grab this and select that side, grab this, highlight here, and pull across again. And then now take your thing, unselect it, and it sort of looks like it's round, I guess. Not really round, but uh, it sort of helps, but I actually inverted this, so let me fix this. But basically just unselect that. And what I mean by I inverted it is I'm supposed to go like this, and then there you go. Okay, and now let's re-select this. And now it looks round. It looks like it's an arch, and it sort of goes around like this. And I'm so sorry for that fan that just turned on. My house just does that. So if you hear that, so sorry. But anyways, you're going to want to then click on another color. This will be your top bar. I'm just kind of doing this. You don't have to make a dishwasher. But I am, so yeah. I'm just gonna add this bottom layer. I'm just kind of showing you guys an example of like how I do my stuff. So, anyways, let's head into the brightness. Let's make this a bit brighter. Let's make that. Let's do 80. No, that's way too high. Let's make it a bit darker than 80. So let's pull that down to, I think 50 is good. And there you go. This will keep at, well, we could probably pull that down to 80 as well. Or not 80, but to 50. And now what we're gonna do is just go to effects, at, go to noise. And this is how you randomize the textures. As you can see, that does not look good. So what we're gonna do is put this on 10 for intensity and then bring that all the way down to zero. And it looks like there is not much here, but if you can see when I bring this down, it's a lot more flat. And when you bring this up here, I'm just going to drag this up a lot. It does that. And so it adds noise to it and just doing 10 really mixes the textures, make it makes it look really good. And there you go. You now have a simple dishwasher and I'll show you guys what this looks like in the game as well. I will import this and as you can see, glazed terracotta yellow it now has the dishwasher right there so edit all your textures do whatever you want and also yes if you exit out of this it will save and uh, you're completely good to go back and edit this another day because now if I go back to terracotta and here you go it's right here so it's nice and simple just like that now all you need to do is once you have all your stuff done uh, you can go to, uh, well, first you're going to want to take this. You're going to compress zipped folder and just do that. It should go to compressing like this. And yeah, just let that take place. But, but anyways, it should be done. Pop up right here. And now all you have to do is type in here, search percent, and then local app data no spaces and then another percent a file folder should show up click that click down at uh, packages so that is right here click packages and then search here minecraft and then it should pop up with one click that and then go to local state not local cache or uh, anything else just go to local state games com.mojang and then go to resource packs 
And then as you can see, my resource pack is already in here. And all you have to do is take this and drop it in here. And so my old one is the Minecraft file. And this new one I made on this video is the Minecraft file. Well, my old one is the edit. This one's the new one we made in this video. So now all you have to do is click out and load up your Minecraft. Okay, so now what you can do once you're in Minecraft is click on your world and just make sure it is in there. I added a little pack icon to mine. That's why it has this wolf with Iron Oak City, Mississippi. And all you gotta do is just press play. And then just load up your world. And it should be active. So, yeah. Let's just load this up real quick. Okay, so I have just connected my controller. That's why I'm moving really good. But now I have imported my new textures in as you might have seen from another video and I'm not sure if I'm posting this before my video showing all these textures or after I really don't know but uh yeah so anyways as you can see I have all my new textures in here got my nice escalators right here and um yeah it's all pretty good so as you can see all textures are in and yeah so now just easily leave your world but now don't worry, I will show you how to add this on Pocket Edition, and I do not have Java Edition, so I will not be able to show you how to download it on that, but you can easily just search it out on YouTube. So anyways, to get your world or your pack to go to your uh, Pocket Edition world or mobile, you can easily click on this, and, well, not that, but you're going to want to open it like this. And you are going to want to send to a compressed folder again, but this might happen a lot faster as long as you didn't edit anything. Alright, so our Minecraft file has popped up right back here. And so now all you want to do is click on this. And what you're going to want to do is hit share and go to Dropbox. And now I only have a unedited videos file but what you're gonna want uh, you just need a file to put this under so I'm gonna create one and call this YouTube so I'm just gonna call it my YouTube just for now but it really doesn't matter and so now this what it allows you to do is so you're gonna need this on your computer and on your mobile device so download Dropbox on your mobile device and this will allow you to just switch it easily over to your mobile device so yeah and uh, I just got a party chat from <laughs> Chase. Okay, let's delete that. And uh, yeah, so just let that in, and there you go. File has been uploaded, and as you can see, it's got the progress bar, and it's actually almost done already, but yeah, so you can easily just keep this tab open and open the official Dropbox app. Go to YouTube, and you'll see it just in there. It's loading, so let's just let that do it. Okay, so once your file is done, you're going to see it says zip. So you're going to want to rename this to .mcpack instead and hit OK. Alright, so now it is changed and now let's head over to my phone version. Okay guys, so now you can head over to your file and there you go, your pack is right in there. Click on the three little buttons in that circle and click on export. And you're going to need to download add-ons of Minecraft, and the icon should look just like that, the one right next to Minecraft. Click on that, and it should say creating a link. Now it should automatically open you straight into Minecraft, or not into Minecraft, but the add-on app. And I already have mine in here, so what you're going to want to do is click on the app and click copy to minecraft so let's do that real quick all right so once it's done uploading it should easily just pop you right into minecraft and it has said fail to import but that is only because i already have my pack imported because i've been using it for a while and it's right here so it should easily just pop up and that time it should say success if it says uh, that you have a duplicate, then you'll easily just go down to your global resources and 
uh, go down to storage and click on delete. But I don't want to do that because I just downloaded this. So easily just hop into your world and it should be right in there. Okay, so I have just joined my world, and as you can already see, I have these lines from my power lines, and they are all connected. I have my plane up there. All my textures are in. You can clearly see I have these lines on these roads that I have imported. The black iron bars, the item frame colors, and different stuff. This is a jungle fence, and it's gray now. And so, yeah. You can clearly see I have successfully imported my stuff, the beacon's yellow, and I've got all these cool things. I've got all my cool glass colors and stuff. Looks very nice. So, yeah, you got your packs all imported, and as I told you before, I have the, uh, whatever this is, I forgot what it was called, the dishwasher. Yes, the dishwasher. I have imported it, and easily just place a pressure plate on top and you got an awesome dishwasher you can easily pop into your kitchen or whatever but anyways that is how you import it to minecraft pocket edition and so yeah that is it for the video hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah please remember to like comment share and subscribe see you guys in the next one bye guys